was just coming to see you. Not the salmon this again. At least Boris is clean shaven this time. Wait, how did you do that? Uh, it's just where it happened. I mean, how did you do that so fast, Jester? I thought you were still with the Tom Crier. No, no, the Tom Crier didn't have anything to do with this. Well, how could he? He's out cold. Speaking of which, you sound as though you're coming down with one. What? <clears throat> I mean, what? Well, I'm glad you got the right one this time. Uh, yeah, I guess so. That should take care of him for a while. The boar. Yes, uh, quite the troll indeed. By the way, I really like what you had to say earlier this evening. It was very astute. Really? So what was so astute about it? Oh, just your understanding of the oppression we know but wouldn't live under. Very sad indeed. I just wish that men would... I just wish that men would talk to us. Get to know us before they started with all the... With the picket lines? Yeah, I know. Just what you mean. Do you know what Lord Bush said to me? <clears throat> Let's see what happens with the drink from my lips. <laughs> Are you serious? Well, that line is going to make me not look better to him. And of course, the whole time he was Mr. Grabby Head. What's that with men? Men are just like the Hydra. Yeah, yeah, they're so Hydra-ish. The, the Hydra? From Greek mythology. Every time you slap a guy's arm, I swear he grows two more. Yeah, yeah, Lord Bush is just like that. Hydra goes deep. Hey, that was a pun. I thought you didn't do puns. And is your voice getting lower? It's just that men get me so mad I forget myself. Men are infuriating. They just don't understand us, but still. What? They are nice to have around. Men can't live with them. Can't live with them if I can <laughs> Oh, gestures. If only there was a man out there who understood me as well as you do. Well, you never know. There may be a devilish handsome man out there with a tremendous sense of humor who knows how to treat a lady. If only. Even if there was such a man, I'm already betrothed to that man. If only we could convince the king. Once he's made up his mind, it's very hard to change. You speak as if you know him well. Oh well, it's just that he's the king. Kings are very stubborn. He needs someone to help him be his to draw things in a new light. Which makes me glad that you are here. You are able to communicate to him in ways that I cannot. Perhaps you can change his mind. I hope so. Really? Will you try to persuade him? A what? Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, I'm so glad we had the opportunity to talk. I knew we were kindred spirits from the first moment you sang your protest song. I just wish I knew a man who understood my heart like you do. Did you hear that? The Lord's horse catches me on toast. Let's just spin him around. Oh, my head. That will teach you, you two-timing. Now, chivalrous. The town oh, crier? Yeah. Well, at least you missed the moose. But you get the boar. I didn't know Lord Boar's head rang with such a clear tone. His head is empty. Good acoustics. What do we do now? Amber does.